Keelan, to respond after losing out there and come back and win and win in the, in the fourth quarter with, with, with defensive plays, how rewarding is that to kind of pull out a win like this against a, a quality club? Um, it was good. We definitely wanted to play better than we played last time. I think those guys, you know, you know, beat us up pretty bad in, in, uh, in L.A. So uh, we wanted to change the narrative tonight on our home floor and, and come out and get a win. Uh, Jalen, David mentioned you're a bully in a good way and, and that you're kind of the opposite of JT. I guess what are your impressions on one being a bully in a good way and then kind of playing the opposite of JT? What you mean? What you mean by that? He said you're a bully in a good way. Who said it, Grant? No, Damon did, sorry. Damon, I'm a bully in a good way. Yes. I don't know what the hell Damon talking about, man. <laughs> Damon be laughing and joking all the time. Now he the head coach. He wants to switch up on us. No, I'm just like, nah, Damon has done great. You know, he stepped into that head coaching role um, in the last two games with Joe being out. And he's been poised, you know. Today he was a lot better than yesterday, of course, because he wasn't as prepared. Today you could see, you know, his preparation was a lot better. And he just kept us organized. You know, even at times where it seemed like we was letting go of the rope, you know, Damon made some timely call, uh, timeouts and, and stuff like that and got us organized. So I thought he did a really good job today. Jalen, you and JT outscored uh, Paul George and Kawhi 58-40, and obviously those guys are kind of the model for a duo. Um, what does that mean? Is it a big thing in the context of the game? And where do those guys sit in terms of being able to do everything well as a pair? Um, I don't think it means anything without a win. Um, so I think that's what you know, both teams are playing for, you know, is to win. Obviously, you know, a lot of our jobs is to score the ball and put the ball in the basket but it's to help our team, you know, win. So um, to outscore them means a lot less than if we lost the game. So I think just focusing on winning was the emphasis tonight. Like, I didn't want to lose. And we just had to make plays. So we made plays when we needed to, and it helped us win. Jalen, uh, that early fourth quarter lineup uh, has kind of had ups and downs this year with getting stops and playing kind of the way you guys want to play. How is Rob being out there allowing you guys to kind of play that fast break basketball? I'm um, good. You know, Rob, he looked really good. You know, he's looking really, really good the last couple games. Um, in the fourth quarter, you know, he had high energy. He had some good plays, some good seals. I was looking for him. Um, he got some big baskets to start the fourth quarter. It helped us, I think, uh, end up winning the game. So um, we want to get we want to get Rob involved. We're looking to get him, you know, comfortable. And as he continues to progress, you know, he's going to continue to be more dominant out there. So um, it's great having him as an option, as a threat. And as he continues to 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 get back to himself, like look out. Hey, Jalen, uh, Derek White had a couple big blocks tonight. Obviously, Marcus Smart, uh, defensive player of the year last year, he's, you know, gets that credit. Derek White sometimes, you know, can fly under the radar a little bit. What do you see from Derek as a defender this year, and what's it like to play next to, I guess, not one but two guys who can go up and get those blocks but also defend the perimeter really well? Yeah, Derek, Derek, you know, he has a tough role. Um, like, they, you know, sometimes they try to go at Derek, you know, just because of his frame, he's a little smaller. Um, but, you know, Derek... You know, he fights every single night. You know, he doesn't just give up or allow, you know, teams to, to, to have a basket. He'll, he'll fight you. So um, we need Derek to continue to be confident. He's been playing good um, the last couple of games. Tonight, I thought he played exceptional. We need him to be aggressive and shoot the ball and, and make plays on both sides. So um, a confident Derek White only helps the Celtics, I think. Jalen, you've been getting a lot more points off of cuts. Um, you and Smart have a pretty good connection, both in transition and in the half court. Uh, what made you see that those cuts were available? Is that something that you and Smart have talked about? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of teams try to overplay me or not allow me to get the basketball. Um, that's, you know, they don't want me to get it because they don't want me to be aggressive or, you know, try to take my rhythm off. So, you know, if I see they, you know, overplaying, then I'll just cut to space. We got a lot of spacing on the floor because we got a lot of shooters. So um, being able to build that connection with Smart and being able to make eye contact with him, we don't really say much, but he gave me that look. And I give him that same look, and, and we know when we see the opening, like we just go ahead and go for it. Just kind of playing up because now, now you've got a point guard there that's kind of looking out. He's trying to get you and Jason and those guys, everybody else, the score is settled. So, I mean, 
in the past you've played with guys who maybe are more score first. So having that pass first kind of guy, that that kind of that kind of connection has to help play into that. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, having that connection with Smart helps me be able to do what I've been able to do. You know, at times this season, like uh, getting some of those easy baskets is, is great for our team, and it also gets me going. So you know, having Smart, who's looking for that, you know, is tremendous. You know, for our team. Um, and he probably don't get enough credit, but he, he's always looking to, to make the right play. And at the end, you, you're obviously one of the closers. Jason's one of the closers. But you got uh, contributions from a lot of guys at the end. Um, I mean, what's it like to, to kind of go out there and know, OK, this might be my time to close, but also you're seeing other guys step up and, and help finish the game? It's always going to be a concerted team effort. You know, each and every night, the game is going to have a different story. You know, we had a lot of players tonight step up. I thought Derek White was great. I thought Marcus had a great game. Um, I thought Al made some timely plays. Grant, um, it's, it's, we need everybody. In any given night, we're going to need somebody to, to step up and make a play, especially with this road trip um, coming up, and especially when the playoffs start. So, you know, it's never going to be, you know, two guys against five or one guy against five. It's five on five. So. You know, sometimes we forget that because of, you know, the narratives and things like that. But, like, we need each and every one of these guys on the team to be ready, to be focused if we're trying to do what we say we're trying to do. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.